What up? Back again. Another video. Just for all you, the real ones. That's what you guys are, the real ones. And uh, I'm getting kind of close here to uh, my move to California, which is going to be a pain in the ass. And uh, I'm probably going to be off of YouTube for... Uh, my estimation about two, two and a half, maybe three months. If, you know, if all goes well, should be just two. Yeah, I got some school to do in between my stations and all that shit. So, you know, I'm just not going to be uh, around. I'm not even going to have all my vinyl or anything. Um, so, you know, this is going to be, uh, I mean, I, I, I'm going to make another video before I go. But, you know, I'm just telling you guys ahead of time. So. I'm going to get into these last few records that I've gotten uh, the last, uh, what's, I don't know, maybe the last two weeks. I did the CD video and that one seemed to get some pretty positive feedback. So let's get into it. This is the latest shit I've gotten. Got the Mad Villain Money Folder America's Most Blunted single, which is awesome. This is uh, from the Mad Villain album, uh, Mad Villainy, which is a terrific fucking album if you haven't heard it get off your ass and go get it this is the uh, two of my favorite tracks money folders dope america's most blunt is fucking dope so yeah some mf doom for that ass and yeah if you see like these records over here i've been messing around with uh um, doing mashups and shit so i got a bunch of singles just kind of laying around plus i started clearing out some of the vinyl up there so don't mind that all right, next, MF Doom, Yeehaw, another great one. Um, that is good shit, so check this one out. Yeehaw Instrumental, Yeehaw Is He Ill. <laughs> it's dope shit, MF Doom. Got some West Side Connection, Get Ignite, and Gangsta Nation, which is the lead single from uh, Terrorist Threats, which is their second album. Um a good single uh we should have some acapellas because uh, i've been getting like i said i've been getting to all these mashups and trying to do some different shit trying to get on the djing scene i guess and um but you know i'm only gonna do old school hip-hop i'm not gonna get on this new bullshit if i do anything new it's gonna be like new beats with old old lyrics so yeah getting it good shit fucking gangsta nation Featuring Nate Dog. R.I.P. Nate Dog, by the way. Got this Run DMC single here. This is from when, um, this is from the 90s. From when, uh, yeah, see, 1993. There was a point where Run DMC, like, they just saw the writing on the wall. <laughs> where, they're, like, their, uh, their career was pretty much fizzling out because the sound that they were doing was just outdated. Um, you know, you gotta understand how fast hip hop changes. You know, if you listen to hip hop from like the late seventies, you know, rappers delight type to like run DMC, you know, everything was different. You know, the the rhyming styles got different, you know, the beats got different. Um and then you move on to like the Karis One area where, you know, it evolved even more and then you had, you know, El Cool J and Rakim. So this single right here is them more or less trying to keep keep up with the times and then you see they look a little more gangstered out you know they got the chains now and, you know what's it called like these fucking baggy jeans they're not even wearing adidas in this look at that they're wearing like boots kind of like the shit i wore to work but yeah so this is run dmc trying to stay current and it's decent i mean like this track is not bad it's just not run dmc you know when you think of run dmc you think of like my adidas and that type of shit. And, well, you know, it is what it is. Ronyo and Joe Cooley, Say It Loud. It's a good single. I had fun listening to it. Ronyo and Joe Cooley, great group. Um, X-Clan. So, X-Clan, I don't know anything about them, really. I just They just seem like the, you know, early 90s, late 80s, Afrocentric type shit. Kind of like uh, Public Enemies. Um, I don't know, Public Enemy. Uh, who else was like Paris? Um... Yeah, I don't know, but you know, it's cool shit, you know, X-Clan, they were uh, a group, I guess. <laughs> I don't know much about them, 
another one I don't know jack shit about is MC Twist and the Def Squad. Um, I only bought the bought this one and that one because they had like just kind of sat there and collected dust for since the, I started going to this record store. So I said, hey, you know what? I'll give them a shot. They're fairly cheap, as you can see. They still got the price tags on them. I never took them off. Yeah, whatever. All right, so Necro. I don't know if Necro is on you guys' playlist, but he's in mine. I like uh, I like me some horror core Necro. Um, yeah, when I bought this, uh, the guy at the counter. Uh, I went to this store called Tiger Records out in uh, Jacksonville, and the guy looked at this and he goes, "Necro." He's like, "I've I've never heard of this guy," and uh, and he's like, "What what's he sound like?" And I mean, all I can tell him is like, you know, like take death metal and make it rap, <laughs> you know, make it like hardcore fucking rap, you know, basically is what it is. And Necro's a tight rapper. You know, he's uh, very much into morbid shit, which there you go. is the name of the track, Morbid. He's into some fucking nasty, dirty, fucking serial killer type shit. And track's dope, you know. It's like a, it's like a horror movie type thing. Uh, Opio from the Hieroglyphics. Um, he's from um, Souls of Mischief. Yeah, I actually got to meet him way back in the day. And uh, yeah, cool guy. Uh, all, all the guys from the group are pretty cool guys. Um, I don't know. I wasn't. I didn't. I didn't really get big into this um, album. I had a couple of tracks that I thought were alright, but for the most part, it just wasn't. Was not, it's not my cup of tea. So I might end up giving that away or selling it or I don't know. Whatever. We'll, I don't know. We'll see what happens in the future. Now, one of the great ones that I got was this right here. Most Devs True Magic. Um. I didn't. I never had this album before, but a lot of these tracks I had actually heard, and did, I forget where I heard them. And um, yeah, they're fucking bomb. Um, there was a track called uh, like something uh, "Innocent Teenage Live" or something like that. Taking an in, take, taking a teenage live or something really just fucking like blew me away on this one. And uh, yeah, it's a great album. Highly recommend it. Highly, highly, highly recommend. This is one. This one was a little bit on the pricier side. All of most Devs albums are gonna be fucking pricey. So, yeah. Uh, this is was the second to last, right? Second to last. This is the one of my big scores. Scarface is back. So yeah, this is his first album um, off the Ghetto Boys. I mean, he was still with the Ghetto Boys. He just did a solo album, and. This is like the oldest Scarface album that I have. I have uh, The Fix, um, Touchable, and Last of a Dying Breed, which were all from, you know, the early 2000s, the late 90s. But this is his first album. This is from 1991. And this is an original pressing. I don't know if they pressed it again, but, man, this album right here, fucking amazing. This is greatness right here personified on vinyl. So make sure you cop that one. At least download it or some shit. And next, um, this is one of my holy grails. I actually have a bootleg of this. And this is another bootleg of it. But this is a great bootleg. The other one I have is really shitty. And it sounds terrible. This one, though, this one sounds great. This is, like, fucking good quality pressing. Um, the um, the records are red. They're, like, uh, like, translucent kind of red. I don't know. I don't know how to say it. But they're dope. Uh, this is uh, one of the greatest albums of all time, in my opinion. Uh, anybody from the 90s that grew up in the time that I grew up really, really relates to this album for a lot of reasons. So one of the big reasons is uh, this is the first thing that came out after Easy e died, right? So, of course, it has to have the crossroads. But there's crossroad, right? So on the first pressing of this, the track was just Crossroad. The Crossroads hadn't even been recorded. But uh, Crossroad, uh, I mean, all their, this entire album is, you know, it's kind of like dark and shit. But that track specifically was dark. And once ECE died, I guess Bone got together with DJ Unique again and they recorded The Crossroads, which is, you know, kind of like a, like a, like a tribute to Eazy-E and various other people that died. I mean, you know, you know the song. 
and um, they re-released it with the Crossroads, and then they took out Crossroad, right? Which I don't know. I, I don't. I don't fuck with that. I don't really like that. Like, if you're gonna re-release it, just release it with an extra track. Why would you remove one to put another one in? I don't know. I think that's a bad move. But anyways, um, this is a good pressing. Uh, they actually have both the Crossroads and Crossroad, which I think is a nice touch. And the entire album is just fucking beginning to end greatness. Um, I don't even know what my favorite track on this is. Uh, recently, one of my last, the last video I did on vinyl was uh, the East 1999 single. And uh, yeah, <clears throat> yeah, this was so good. Uh, I mean, it was it was pretty pricey. Um, I had to send my boy Diego a, a link like, hey, man, there's more copies of this available. Better go get it. And he got it. And I was really proud of him because, uh, you know, he does. He's been doing this thing with the vinyl. So hope you guys are, too. And yeah, this is the last record of the video. So I'll let you guys go. Go have yourselves a good Sunday. I do have tomorrow off, but it's only because I got my wife's ultrasound. Um, we gotta, we're gonna find out what we're having. So, I mean, you guys aren't gonna know because I'm not even telling my family till I get out to California. So I'm not gonna release any of that information till way down the road. So don't expect to hear it. I'm just teasing you with it. So you ask me on the comments. <laughs> so uh, yeah. So with that, have a good Sunday. Um, you know, share, subscribe, you know, get the little bell so, you know, you find out whenever I do a video. You know, if you care. I don't have that many subscribers. I just reached 100, which I'm very proud of. And um, that's a very nice little milestone. First milestone of the channel. So you guys have a good Sunday again for the third time. Have a good Sunday. And we'll see what's going on later. Peace.